Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he has very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to be Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. Oh! Hey, well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Ooh, what a punch. Series and strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go on the round. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kiss, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. 
massive head kick. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Straight right hand, no good. Shot to the body is plus. Beautiful kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice straight punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Hands high, hands high. Head kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice punch by Lee. Such a fast leg kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Just missed on that spinning attack. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Missed with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Big kick lands. Big head kick lands. Just missed with the left there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. fighter is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Nice. Punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Punch is blocked. Head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Just misses there with the left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, there, DC. He is a 
officially rock. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. What a fight so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Third round underway. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Clip with the right hand. Watch the strike. Nice right hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. What a tricky head kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab. After jab, after jab, he's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Just unable to... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has come to stop this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lazuka. All right, so there he is, the man.